and then to be reminded what real power is. Well, let me know if real power wants a build video or something. Here we have my favorite build of all time. For fights where you want to be standing in a well with your whole fire team, this isn't necessarily the best. Otherwise, I do think it's the best build. This was my loadout going into Day 1 King's Fall. I ran this the entirety of the Val of the Disciple Day 1, and this is what I use to solo GMs when I'm on my Warlock. You want 100 Resilience for the 40% damage reduction, 100 Discipline because this is Grenade, the subclass, and because most of our mods are based upon our Grenade. The rest of our stats go into Recovery. We have low intellect, but that is made up for with armor mods, and the exotic of choice is Controverse Hold, and when paired with certain aspects and fragments, every grenade is essentially a Noble Bomb. I typically go with Cataclysm, but will swap to Vortex if I don't want it to block my teammates' shots. You want Healing Rift and Vortex Grenade. The aspects you want are Chaos Accelerant, which increases the size and duration of your Vortex Grenade, and Feed the Void, which grants Devour. For Fragments, you want Echo of Remnants and Undermining absolutely for sure. The third fragment is my personal preference because I pair a Void Weapon with my build, in which I go with Instability for Volatile Rounds. If you don't want to use a Void Weapon, then I'd go with Expulsion for the Exploding Enemies and 10 Intellect. Because we have such strong grenades, we're using Ashes to Assets for maximum super energy, bolstering Detonation to grant Rift energy when our grenade does damage, and if it sits on a target long enough, it will proc twice, which really makes up for not going all in on recovery. And we want Bomber on our Bond. We're really going all in on our grenade here, so if we of course want Elemental Ordnance to make wells, seeking wells so that we don't have to play hide and seek with them. I'm a big fan of Font of Might for 25% more damage at all times, and the last two combat mods I've been messing around with, but I really like Font of Wisdom to make up for low intellect, and Explosive Wellmaker is nice even though it's a solar well because you have more ways to make it. The impact of your grenade, your melee, super, and even a Wither Horde kill will proc Explosive Wellmaker. If you don't prefer those mods, Bountiful Wells is nice for an extra Void Well at all times, and if you want to make up for any lost recovery, there's Well of Utility that gives class ability energy. If you use a Void Weapon with Adrenaline Junkie, you'll always have the 34% damage bonus from Adrenaline Junkie, the 25% from Font of Might, and all the extra explosions from Volatile Rounds from Echo of Instability. With every enemy falling over while you have Devour, you'll have your next grenade in one second, which will feed directly into Rift and Super Energy. So, with Controverse Hold, Chaos Accelerant, and Echo of Remnants and Undermining, your debuffing grenade has maximum time on the field and gives you maximum Rift and Super Energy. Grandmasters, Day 1 Raids, Neutral Day-to-Day -day Gameplay, this is what I always go to.